Thank you, uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, this week here in Parliament, we've actually had a visit from ESSO workers, Exxon Mobil workers, workers from uh, based in Gippsland in Victoria at the Longford facility. Now, who is um, Exxon Mobil, ESSO? They are one of these large multinationals in the world, in fact, the sixth largest, that's not paying any tax in this country yet. Last year, they made $8.6 billion in offshoring Australian gas and oil. So they are a company doing incredibly well on off the back of Australian resources. And up until recently, uh, workers within their organisation, within their facilities, shared some of that wealth. However, what has happened recently is that ExxonMobil have got greedy. They are now attacking their workers through loopholes in the Fair Work Act. Uh, we have heard that they have offered uh, the new contract to a labour hire company who wants to cut the pay of these workers who work offshore in dangerous conditions by 30 to 40 per cent. It is wrong. They want to change the rosters, again reducing take-home pay, but creating problems within family units, not giving people time with their families or certainty going forward. They want to, in, what they've said to these workers, it's a take it or leave it scenario. The workers for ESSO, many of whom have worked for ESSO for a long time, have refused. And now the company is refusing to bargain with them in good faith. It kind of is summed up by Troy's son, Troy Carter Kane, and he was talking about uh, this dispute and about what it would mean for their family if they accepted this take it or leave contract and what it would mean this loss of pay. The son said, Dad, why is the boss trying to take money from us? After a while of thinking about it, Troy replied, Esso, the truth is my boss is greedy. Not a very nice answer, but the truth. He says he was brought to tears when his, when his son then came back to the kitchen, poured his money bank onto the table and said, don't worry, Dad, here's all the money we need. And as the family said, if our children can understand this, then how come the company can't? This dispute is all about corporate greed. There are problems and loopholes in the Fair Work Act, yet the government is refusing to do anything about it. The only intervention that we've seen from Fair Work is to order the workers to take down Scabby the Rat, take down a protest rat, rather than actually forcing <coughs> the company into genuine good faith bargaining about restoring pay and conditions. ESSO is not short of a dollar. They are not paying any tax in Australia, and now they are ripping off their workers, and it's time this government acted. Yeah. Can I thank the member for Bendigo, and I call the member